Hi everybody, Julie Ebersol for EllenHudson.com. Today I'm here with some tips for turning the fortune cookie dies into interactive fortune cookies. This die set comes with two different shapes of fortune cookies and a sentiment strip, and it's designed to coordinate with the Good Fortune stamp set. So how do we get this effect? Well, I have a finished card to share with you here. I wanted you to see how this works. I mean, even though it's two-dimensional, you still get a lot of interaction and you're able to slide this fortune strip in and out out of the fortune cookie much like a real fortune cookie. To get started, I actually sponge some yellow ink onto some white cardstock, and then I die cut a bunch of fortune cookies, and I die cut a bunch of strips, and I stamped the sentiments onto a bunch of strips, and then I can take those fortune cookies, there are detail cutting lines on there that give the cookie its personality, and you can use those slits there in the design to insert those fortunes, and they can slide in and out. But the trick is how to get them to stay in there and work on a card very easily. And here I have a model that's gonna demonstrate how those strips can slide in and out, and this is the frontal view, but I wanted to show you how they were mounted because that's the trick. So I'm going to flip this over. I actually mounted these onto acetate so I could flip it over and show you how they were mounted on the back side. I took some foam mounting tape and I cut it into skinny strips and I created a channel on the back side that would accommodate the width of these fortune cookie strips. And as you can see, you can slide them uh, in and out, but there is no end cap on one of those channels. On the other cookie, I did put an extra piece of foam tape to create a stop gap. So that fortune will only slide so far and it will not go out the other side of the cookie. So it all depends on the desired effect you want for your fortune if you want it to slide all the way in and all the way out. But it's a great effect and all you need to do is create a nice little channel using foam tape and pop it all up and bam, you've got cookie magic. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.